Hi friends, happy Wednesday, Tuesday. It's Tuesday, yes, uh-huh. January, 2022, sure, I know where I'm at. <laughs> okay, um, so I wanna talk about this while it's fresh in my mind, uh, cause you know that I, as your coach, am not a perfect person. I am in the trenches alongside you. I am working on becoming a better version of myself. I still struggle with all the things, but I'm committed to being a work in progress. So if you're not committed to being a work in progress, that's what I want you to take away from this today, okay? I want you to surrender your idea of what it needs to look like and how long it should take and yada yada, and this is what this person is doing, and I want you to run your own pace, run your own race. I want you to find your pace and stick with it. And on some days, it's gonna be harder. Some days you're not gonna want to, and I'm telling you that that's normal. We're all there, okay? Welcome to the club. But you do have to make a decision, right? So I jumped on our morning Zoom and um, it was fine. And the workout was really hard and I wanted to phone it in. I wanted to just, you know, step it out. <laughs> and so the other girls got off and Carla was still on and I unmuted myself and I was like, I need you. I want to quit. This is hard. I don't like it. I don't feel like it. And so we were both at almost the same part in our workout. So we like, that's the cool thing about the workouts that have the time, right? So we both got to like 642 and we hit play. And we unmuted ourselves. So there was lots of grunting and groaning and moaning. It was like a, you know, a Friday night. And, um, and we did it, we did it together. And it wasn't perfect. And there was some modifications that happened on my end. I was too busy trying to survive to see what she was doing. But I needed that accountability. And I'm telling you, that if you are not leaning into accountability, whether it is messaging me or texting me or utilizing this group or the bod group, you're missing out on so much. Show up for the Zooms, okay? I have said over and over, I am happy to meet you in your time zone, all right? We get on at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time and we also get on at 5.30 every night. Um, we, I didn't get on last night because I just didn't, but I know that a couple of the other girls were and that is, that's where you close the gap. When you no longer keep your goals and your commitments inside all quiet, because when you do that, it's really easy to quit. It's really easy to phone it in. And I'm encouraging you and inviting you to be an imperfect work in progress that is struggling at times and like just do your best, right? So lately, I'm, I'm still doing 75 strong. I haven't been talking about it very much, but I'm still doing it, okay? It's, it's the baby version of 75 hard because who wants to do hard things? Fuck that, I don't wanna do hard things. I want to do things that make me proud. I don't need to do something that's hard. That's what she said. Um, someone's feeling sassy today. So anyways, I've been doing that and I'm following a nutrition plan. And lately, so I'm doing the thick, I'm doing the containers and, and I start out strong. And then by lunch, I'm eating things that maybe don't necessarily serve me. And I'm not saying they're unhealthy food choices. It's not even unhealthy food, but it's food that doesn't help me feel good. We all have food sensitivities, right? And so lately I have been just sticking stuff in my pie hole that's not going to serve me. So today in the middle of one of the breaks, I wrote myself a love note. I wrote myself a commitment and I'm gonna put it on my fridge. I will take a picture and drop it in the comments. Make your own, write yourself a freaking commitment. Write yourself a love letter. Write yourself a reminder of why this matters. It's not about the number. I don't care about your number. I don't care about what the scale says. I don't even care what the number in your size, uh, the size of your clothes or what your measurements are from program to program. I care more about how you feel and whether or not you're feeling proud, okay? Because we're all women in this group, which means that we all have hormonal things happening. You're in different seasons. You have different focuses. And it's not a one size fits all. I'm more interested in how you feel in your heart space and in your mindset space and you taking the action to show up every single day the best that you can. Because some days are gonna be struggle bus. Some days aren't gonna be great. Some days are gonna be hard. Some days are gonna be victorious and you're like, I slayed it, I killed it, I did all the things, I'm a freaking rock star, somebody give me the cover of People Magazine. But those days are so few and so far between. And so if you're always thinking it needs to be perfect in order to count, number one, you're not going to find any joy or momentum on the journey. And I am, as your coach, am more interested in you showing up as a healthier, happier, saner, imperfect version of you, right? That's trying to level up every day. And that doesn't mean you're perfect. It means that you ask for help when you need it. You plug into the tribe when you need it. You get on the Zooms, even if you're not doing a beach body workout. I don't freaking care. You could do yoga with Adrian. You could stretch, you could meditate. We all mute ourselves. And it's just accountability. So you don't feel alone. So if you feel alone, you need to get your ass out of your closet space and actually plug into community. And I, 
I'm speaking as an introvert that doesn't particularly like people. Shocking, I know. I prefer my cats. But that has been the game changer is leaning into the community and saying, I need help, even when it's hard and uncomfortable. Okay, so I'm not your therapist. I can't help you get all those inside pieces together, but I can encourage you to keep showing up and shine my light. All right, so I wrote this love note to myself. It's gonna go on my fridge. It's gonna go by my containers and I'm just gonna do better. I'm not gonna take yesterday or the previous week or the previous month or the previous year or the previous whatever into consideration because today is a fresh start. Every single day is a new opportunity to recommit, to realign, to refocus. You don't have to make up for anything. You don't have to. You just have to just do your best today and be mindful around your what you're capable of doing because some days your kids haven't slept or you're recovering from sickness or it's shark week and it's just not going to be, it can't be the same every single day and you need to embrace that. It's a holistic journey. It's gonna take as long as it needs to take. Your workouts are gonna take as long as they need to take. It doesn't have to be you going balls to the walls all the time. It needs to be you committing to showing up and touching your workout, your routine, your mindset work every single day. That's how you win at this. That's how you get momentum on this. And that is how you ultimately do find the motivated moments. They're not every single day. I'm not motivated every day. There's plenty of days I have to like talk myself into it, but I know that I'm spending that mental energy whether I show up or not. And you are too. You're spending the mental energy shooting all over the place or thinking about it or saying, well, I really need to just freaking take the action, do what you can, and then collect the wins. Celebrate that. I drank my water today. I moved my body today. I listened to something today that inspired me. I turned off the news. I went for a walk. I played with my kid. I was present. I took time to read on the couch. I took a shower. I'm like, what in your life does winning look like? It's not a one size fits all. It's not. Okay. Okay. So the love note I wrote to myself is I will make food choices today that serve me. I choose how I want to feel versus how I feel in the moment because I'm an emotional eater. And so I stick stuff in my pie hole because this isn't working out or I feel overwhelmed in this or I did really good with this. So what am I a freaking dog? I should reward myself. That's my truth. And that's something that I've always struggled with. It's something that I'm a work in progress and I, I'm not going to feel shame around it, but it's my truth. And so I'm going to own it and I'm going to shine the light on it because when you shine the light on the things that feel shamey or embarrassing, or I'm such a freak because I'm the only one that does that. When you shine the light on that, when you say it out loud, you take away its power. Things have more power when you keep them in the dark, when you're secretive about it. I feel shamey. I got up in the middle of the night and I ate this. Okay. Like just admit it. It's okay. Like whatever. Fresh slate, new start. Let's commit. Let's realign as many times as it, as it takes because this is your life. I'm not interested in a 30 day transformation. I'm not interested in you completing your 21 day fix and having it be this perfect, you know, gold star freaking experience. I am more interested in you realigning your core beliefs that you believe in yourself and that you choose yourself and that you're choosing to show up for yourself. It does not have to be perfect. Your journey shouldn't look like mine. So stop trying to be a carbon copy of other people. Your journey is yours. You're the only one with your specific hormonal needs. You're the only one living your specific chapter. You were the only one with the friendships and the relationships and the own self-talk. You were the only one that has that. So stop putting this on other people. You own this. This is your freaking epic, amazing, glorious, sticky, messy, and perfect journey. So show up to it today. What do you need to be honest about? What do you need to break up with? What, what do you need to shine the light on and say, I'm gonna stop giving this power, and I know, that I'm gonna freaking put something in my mouth that doesn't belong there. I know, I know because I'm, I'm imperfect, but so what? I'm not going to allow what might happen to derail today. So today I'm, I, I drank my unicorn juice, I got on Zoom, I did my workout and when I wanted to quit, I said, Carla, I need you. And she said, good, I need you too. And then we freaking did it. And now we're done. And I can go on with other things and know that I showed up the very best I could. And so if you, no matter where you're starting at, I want you to know I'm proud of you and I believe in you. You're exactly where you need to be and yesterday doesn't need to come in today, into today. Today is a fresh start, it's a new opportunity. You don't need to do all the things, you just need to pick one thing that you're gonna work on today. One thing that you're gonna highlight, one thing that you're gonna focus on, one freaking thing. Write it down, put it in front of your face, make it your screensaver, put it on your fridge. Share in this group what is the one thing you're gonna work on. 
And maybe you'll rock it today and maybe you'll struggle bust. But tomorrow's a fresh start and you realign, you recommit, you just do your best, you surrender the rest. And eventually you're gonna nail that one thing. If that one thing isn't too huge, you're going to nail it. I have 100% belief in you. I know you will nail it. And then once that one thing is under your belt and you feel really good about it, then you can layer on another thing. You're gonna habit stack. That's how you work your way towards that next level version of you. You're gonna habit stack and life is gonna happen. You're gonna get off track and you're gonna mess up one thing and you just go back to it and you just realign it. You don't mean talk, you don't shame yourself, you don't say, see, I'm such a failure, I suck, I can never get this, it's too hard, blah, blah, blah. Stop with that. We have a thousand critics. You don't need to be your own freaking critic, all right? So I'm gonna rip this out. And see, I have this like squirrely voice in my head that's already like, that's such a crock of crap, Sarah. You know you're gonna do it. You know you're gonna eat the thing. <laughs> you know you're gonna sabotage yourself because abs just aren't in your future. You know what? I'm like, you could just cork it. You can cork it. Inner reptilian brain, Sarah. You can cork it because today, I'm choosing myself. I'm choosing to feel better than I did yesterday. I'm choosing to prioritize loving myself. I'm not a, I'm not a dog. I don't have to reward myself with food, right? Right, so that's how we heal our journeys. That's how we repair old patterns that don't serve us. It doesn't have to be everything. Today you choose one freaking thing and you show up to it the very best you can. And then at the end of the day, even if it wasn't perfect, even if you didn't hit that mark, you're gonna collect the proof that you did your best. I want you to collect your proof. I drank more water today. I was intentional about my nutrition today. I listened to something for five minutes. I turned off the, the media. I, I unplugged from that person that feels venomous. Count your wins, look for your proof that you're winning. All right, start celebrating that. Instead of highlighting, I ate that. I didn't work out as much as I should have. I should have done that. Stop shooting all over the place, stop it, okay? Collect your proof, collect your wins, plug into the tribe. I'm here. <laughs> oh my God, one of you was like, I, I, a lot of you lately have been like, I get so much out of this group, I, I, but I'm just quiet. Why are you being quiet? You belong here, you have a seat at the table. Show the F up, post in here. I need that. I show up for you and I will believe in you for forever, but I'm asking you as your coach and mentor and friend and you know, compadre in the trenches with you, I need you to show up for me. I expect you to show up for me, not in some perfection-y way, but in your very best because you guys, that, that encourages me and it reminds me that the work I am doing on my own journey and as a coach is actually making an impact. So I would appreciate it if you showed up with me. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna get off of here. I'm probably gonna hop on Zoom with Katie. We'll see where she's at. And, uh, and then I'm gonna teach the kid and I'm gonna, you know, I don't know, feed the other kid and then go through life because it's not perfect, but it's mine, right? Right, all right, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. I believe in all of you. If you need something, you can hit my inbox. I'll be there later today. Otherwise, just do your best and surrender the freaking rest, right? Right.